Hello, my dear students. Here is the uh, part one lecture of the radio engineering basics. Uh, in this lecture, I will uh, define uh, some of the basic uh, terms of radio engineering and why we study and what is the advantages of uh, radio engineering. So, uh, first of all, going uh, back to the overview, here we would uh, learn in this thing is communication system in this course mainly radio channel, noise, transmitter, receiver, amplifier, and modulator. The link budget, antenna properties, and classification, propagation, and rate radio and transmission. So, these are the basic components of uh, radio engineering, uh, and we will learn day by day. That will that is the main we will cover this type of things. But first of all, the communication system. We have to know the communication system. Topic one. In this topic, we will uh, discuss about history, radio frequency spectrum, components of communication system, advantages of radio communication, radio transmitter, radio receiver, mode of transmission, etc. So, first of all, what is the history? Uh, we very uh, pretty much know about Henry Hertz. Hertz, because it is uh, dependent on total uh, frequency, we know the unit of frequency is Hertz. So, radio waves were first identified and studied by German physicist Henry Hertz in 1886. And you would uh, probably know about Guglielmo, uh, Guglielmo Marconi. Uh, it, uh, he was an Italian uh, scientist and uh, electrical engineer. So he first of all uh, practically uh, invented the radio transmitters and receivers. They, he developed it around 1895 to 1896. And uh, he's commercially uh, used the, the radio. Sorry, his radio. Uh, have been uh, commercially used in uh, 1900 and uh, that is the radio frequency spectrum uh, the radio spe frequency spectrum is a part of the electromagnetic uh, spectrum so it is a part RF spectrum is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum which frequencies uh, varies from 30 hertz to 300 gigahertz that is the range of radio frequency spectrum so uh, in communication system the uh, transmission and reception which is done between the frequencies from 30 hertz to 300, kil, uh, 300 gigahertz are known as radio frequency uh, radio frequency spectrum and uh, in the communication in communication theory if we discuss about uh, this is this spectrum and frequency transmitting receivers uh, they are uh, certainly known as radio engineering so electromagnetic waves in this frequency range called radio waves are widely used in modern technology, particularly telecommunication. To prevent interference between different users, the generation and transmission of radio waves is strictly regulated by national laws. That means uh, if you uh, try to design a radio, so you have to uh, respect the law of national uh, regulatory laws on uh, or coordinated by an international body, the International Telecommunication Union. So they have the standards, so you have to maintain the standards too. And in our country, BTRC is the Regulatory Commission on Telecommunication and they will give you uh, some range to use. You have to uh, take uh, license from the uh, frequency to use your own, you can make it your own channel, radio channel, FM channel, AM channel, whatever it might be. So it should have to have a national law, regulatory by national law and you should have a, have to have a license. Uh, what is bands? A radio band is a small contiguous section of the radio spectrum frequency. That means band is a spectrum frequency. And what is bandwidth? Range of frequency frequency is the band bandwidth. Okay, the range of frequency is the bandwidth. So that will be bandwidth. Bandwidth. Now, <coughs> FM uh, in FM radio that uh, varies between 87.5 megahertz to 108 megahertz. And the bandwidth is, if you just uh, subtract this two, you will get uh, 20.5 megahertz. And uh, the bandwidth of the cell phone is uh, 40 megahertz, and it's also uh, relies on the radio frequency because um, it is also it relies on radio engineering because it is uh, dependent on radio frequency. 87, uh, 875 megahertz to 915 megahertz, or there are different type of uh, frequency spectrums and uh, frequency allocations related to different technologies okay gsm technology 3g technology 4g technology they are also related to this so that's the thing and the cell phone here we use 40 megahertz bandwidth now uh, that is the radio frequency spectrum and uh, from extremely low frequency means 3 hertz to 30 hertz that's communication with submarines 
and super low frequency SLF is 30 Hz to 300 Hz ultra low frequency but the main frequency starts from there navigation and time signal that is the applications in the right side that you can see in this uh, uh, slide uh, medium frequency uh, M -A -F -M -F frequencies AM medium wave broadcasts avalanche wave becomes and high frequencies 3 megahertz 30 megahertz short wave broadcast sky wave radio communication all of the applications uh, some very high frequency the television broadcast that starts starts from television broadcast fm 30 megahertz 300 megahertz line of sight ground to aircraft aircraft to aircraft communication this kind of communications are related to this uh, frequency and ultra high frequency is also television broadcast mobile phones wireless lamp google gps etc and super high frequency is uh, ranges from between uh, 3 gigahertz 30 gigahertz and their radio astronomy microwave devices communications wireless lamp etc and extremely high frequency is radio and extreme uh, 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz most of all these frequencies are known as a microwave frequencies okay so uh, 3 gigahertz 300 gigahertz is uh, dedicated to the microwave frequencies but uh, if you want to uh, relate the radio frequency the main uh, uh, main spectrum varies between 30 hertz to 300 gigahertz and uh, that is the basic uh, component of communication system so that's the basic block diagram information source transmitter channel receiver destination and that's the noise in the channel that should always be the noise in the channel channel is not going to be noiseless because uh, that's not a that's not a perfect channel a practical channel always have a noise there are different kind of noise and we will learn noise uh, from the next uh, week and on uh, but the information source there is encoding modulation and decoding mod demodulation so transmitter should encode this and modulate it and uh, uh, give signal back to the track channel after transmitting uh, the channel that, uh, that will carry the information to the receiver and after demodulating or decoding we will get the destination now that is the uh, information source this type of things voice music photo uh, that will convey the message that is known as the information source internet data video these are the information sources and that is the transmitter you know very much well that is the, the antenna you can see here radio antenna it is a specialist device that produces radio wave using an antenna the transmitter itself generates the radio frequency alternating current which is applied to the antenna that means alternating current uh, is applied to the antenna to produce radio waves and uh, the modulation and amplification also uh, being used in the transmitter section now uh, that is the uh, channel channel is the medium of which uh, transmitted radio wave is propagated that means that is the main function without channel no other uh, no other signals will be conveyed so whether the signal has been conveyed the message will be propagated in such a thing that is known as channel in wireless communication air is the channel that is, that is wireless for wired communication it may be coaxial cable twisted pair cable optical fiber are the channel there are a lot of common uh, channel can define as frequency range of an application the way of communication uh, they can be divided by many terms uh, that is the receiver receiver you know receiver provides the opposite function of transmitter it receives the radio wave and decode the message with the help of the different modules such as amplifier mixer emulator and that is the destination you know you can you, you can you can listen from the, in the music box you can uh, watch tv that are the loudspeakers are the outputs and outputs are really the destination what are the advantages the advantages is the mobility uh, you uh, use a cell phone you can go here and there uh, a radio communication solution in areas where cables are impossible to install where cables are impossible to install they are you know radio communication is very useful wireless communication it is easier to maintain but disadvantage is a low security high cost for setting infrastructure unlike the wired communication radio communication is influenced by physical obstruction climatic conditions interference from the other wireless devices we will learn from noises to understand this thank you very much for being with me